Hey guys, Future John D here. Before we start the video, just want to let you guys know that this video was made during my birthday, which was January 17th. So by the time you're watching it, this was from the past, kind of. So without further ado, let's continue with the video. What is up gamers? This is John D and welcome back to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. And today is my birthday, January 17th. And our goal is to try to find any shiny with the Destiny Mark badge. And pretty simple, we are going to be looking for a shiny Pikachu. One reason why I'm trying to find the shiny Pikachu is because, well obviously, I did not ever caught a shiny Pikachu in this game. And another thing is that I love Pikachu, it is pretty cute and pretty cool. And also the fact that Ash Ketchum showed how strong his Pikachu is to everyone. If you guys have watched the Pokemon anime, please let me know in the comment section down below. I've watched it during my childhood and I really enjoyed it. And now back to the game, basically where we're at right now is at Artizone where you verse Gym Leader Brassius, the grass type Gym Leader, and all you're doing is just going to this hill and you'll be spawning a lot of Pikachus. You don't necessarily have to go down this hill but you'll be seeing a lot of Pikachus. But all you're doing is just um, staying at that spot where I was currently and then you'll spawn a lot. So the reason why I started from the left side is because if you go from the right side you'll be spawning these Pommies and Pommos. And you don't want to accidentally find that shiny. And then from there, you just go to the Pokemon Center, and then you spawn it. So this is where I'm at, so this is exactly how you should do it. Stay at the spot, you'll be spawning a lot of decent amount of Pikachus. If you do not find it, you go back to the Pokemon Center or Archer Zone, doesn't matter which one. And then you're going to keep doing this process again until you find the shiny Pikachu. And the shiny Pikachu is darker orange. It is pretty obvious to see it. And hopefully we will find it, so... It's going to take a while, but we'll be right back once we find the shine. Okay, it's about 15 minutes and hopefully we find it. Oh, I see the po I see the shiny Pikachu right there. You see it? It's a little darker compared to the other ones and there it is, shiny Pikachu. And it's a female because of the tail. And let's go catch this shiny Pikachu. Here we go. It's a critical catch and we caught the shiny Pikachu! Nice! Alright, here's the question. Does this Pikachu have the Destiny Mark badge? Okay, before we do that, let's guess the nature. I am thinking it is timid by nature. Let's see. Oh, it is quirky by nature. And, oh, it does seem like it does have a badge. Okay, so give me a second and we have to, like, put one of our Pokemon in the box. So then we can see what this, um... Pikachu's mark is. Alrighty, let's find out. Alright, let's go check out the summary. It does have a ribbon mark. Does it have the destiny mark? Yes! Let's go! We found a Pikachu with the destiny mark as the chosen Pokemon. Let's go! First try. That's what I'm talking about. I honestly thought I would not get on my first try, but I guess our birthday luck was there. Alright. But let's just say you did not get it. You would just have to reset your game again until you find it. It's up to you, but you don't necessarily have to, but just to save your Urban Mystica. Okay, I thought of another place. We're not ending the video right here. So we're at Area Zero. As you know, I did not actually catch all of them. The only one I caught was actually that Iron Valiant. So I decided why not make a level two electric type sandwich so that we can try to see if we can challenge ourselves to find a level a shiny pokemon with level 2 sandwiches you don't necessarily have to but this is like the second best thing the only warning i have to say is it will take a little bit longer level 3 type sandwiches tend to be the best one but for level 2 it is pretty decent the only thing is it's going to take a while to find it but i like to do that but if you guys want to do it be my guest but you don't necessarily have to so to find, we're going to find Iron Thorns, which is basically Tyranitar. You're going to go to floor number two, and then all you're going to do from there is you're going to go take your left. And then from there, after you take your left, you're going to be seeing this rocky mountain. That is where the Iron Thorns is going to spawn. And then another way, another place is you can go up this hill. And from there, you're going to be seeing more Iron Thorns from there. So this is basically the only place to spawn these iron thorns. It is a very decent place. You might easily find it in within maybe a few minutes or so, or even less than that. 
So yeah, that's pretty much it. So that is the location to find Iron Thorns. The only thing it is, it is exclusive to Pokemon Violet. For Pokemon Scarlet, you're going to be seeing the past Paradox Pokemon. For Pokemon Violet, you're going to be seeing the future Paradox Pokemon. So that's the only difference, just to let you guys know, FYI. And give us a moment, and we'll be back until we find the shiny Iron Thorns. Okay, it's been a while. Oh, there it is! Very noticeable! There's the Iron Thorns right there! It's silver. Very, very easy, shiny to find. Very noticeable. And now, let's go and get the shiny Iron Thorns! Yes! Iron Thorns! Let's go! Nice! The silver is very, very nice. Alright, let's go try to catch it with this Ultra Ball. Come on! Hey, it's a critical catch! We just got lucky. And we got the Iron Thorns. These Pokemon are usually really tough to catch, but we just got lucky. And there. That is shiny Pokemon number one with the level two sandwich. Wow. I'm going to guess it is bold by nature. Okay, it is gentle by nature and it does not have a mark. That's okay. Up to the next Pokemon. So now we are looking for Iron Hands and it looks like Hariyama. It is an electric and fighting type. And this is the location, so if you guys have done the the, po the end game where they go to Area Zero, you're going to go to this place. And from there, this is a good location to find Iron Hands. There, there's going to be so many of them. But as of right now, I have this level 2 sandwich currently right now. So it spawns a decent amount. So if you guys use the level 2 sandwiches, you're going to be seeing the other types. That's why a lot of people suggest using the level 3. So then you don't have to worry about the other Pokemon, um, you know, interrupting as you're finding that specific shiny. Okay. Took us a while, maybe about a solid 5 minutes or 10 minutes. And let's see if we can find that shiny. Oh wow! It was literally right behind me. I was not even bothering going to go looking back, but I'm so glad I did. As you can see, the shiny is just ahead. It's silver, and that's how you notice that it's the shiny. Let's go and encounter the shiny. There it is, shiny iron hands. I had to go back and use my Gallade because, you know, it was a little tough. So there we go, shiny hands again. This time, I have the right Pokemon to help me catch this because I did not use the right Pokemon when catching this iron hands. Because I want to use Hypnosis, and then I want to use False Swipe. So there, we did Hypnosis, and we used False Swipe. I think this is good enough. Let's go and try to catch this Iron Hands. Come on. Let's catch that Shiny. Nice, it's a critical catch. There we go. Iron Hands has been caught. Alright, so we are done for now for Area Zero. We'll be going for the other Area Zero Pokemon sooner or later. Now let's go check and see what is the nature. So I'm going to guess the nature is gold. And let's see if it has a badge. It is gentle by nature. Okay. It does not have a badge. That's okay. Okay. On to the next shiny. Okay. So this time we're going to be going for shiny Raichu. It is pretty cool. It is the evolved form of Pikachu. Obviously. You guys know that. And all you need is a Thunderstone in order to evolve your Pikachu into Raichu. I thought this is a really fun thing to do because, you know, there are so many Raichus and also there are some Jolteons here in this specific place. And I'm talking about the Sulkurat Trail place. And you can also find Ting Lu there if you collect all of the stakes or those swords. And right here we're going to be making a level 3 sandwich. It's pretty simple, just some cucumber and some pickles and then three of the um, bell peppers, the yellow bell peppers, and then two Urban Mystica, and then that's how we make our electric type sandwich again. And look at that, there are so many Raichus here. Very, very, very good place to shiny hunt for Raichus. I think I might find it in no time. And there are some Jolteons there, so it's a really good place to shiny hunt for Jolteons and Raichus, but mainly for Raichu. And all we need to find is a darker skin color for Raichu. There it is! 
That's the shiny Raichu. And we just found it in less than a minute. Amazing. There is the shiny Raichu. Very nice. All right, now let's go and catch this Raichu. All righty, let's use the Ultra Ball. Come on, it's a critical catch. We got the shiny Raichu. Very nice. Okay, I decided to do one more shiny hunt before we end this video. But before we do it, let's go and check out the nature for this Raichu right here. I'm going to guess it is timid by nature. Let's check it out. Am I right? It is timid by nature. Very nice. Okay. No bad, but it's okay. At least I got the nature right. Okay, finally, we are at the northern province at Area 3. And all we're doing is shiny hunting for Dedene. So this is a pretty good, decent place. So go to this area by where the rocks are. And you'll find a bunch of Dedenes running here and there. Just be careful because they're small, so it may be a little hard. All you're looking for is a dark brown mouse. And that's how you know that it is a shiny. So this is a very nice area. You can see there's a lot of Dedenes at this area. And how to despawn it, you just go back where, at that corner where the, the snow is near the waterfall. Then you go back. Just make sure you do not see the pommies and pommos when you're encountering and that's how you respawn it again. Okay, I'll show you another location. So basically, all you're doing is just go to the left near the shore. So we're at Ortega's base. And then from there, you'll be seeing some rocky hills. And all you're doing is just going up that hill and then you can just... And then you just go back and then you'll see a lot of Dedenes. And we see a shiny Dedene on the top left. We got lucky. We found the shiny Dedene right there, the dark brown mouse. There is the shiny Dedene. Yay. All right. All right. So we're going to end it off by catching this Dedene. Let's do it. Let's go use an Ultra Ball. Let's try it. Oh, okay. Let's try this again. Oh, it's using Discharge. Okay, let's try this Ultra Ball one more time. Come on, please be a critical catch. Yes, critical catch. We got the Shiny Dedene. Okay, we did it. Okay, let's go check out the Nature for Dedene. Let's go click on Dedene Summary. All right. I'm going to say it is timid by nature. Oh, it is docile by nature. Okay. Doesn't have a badge? That's okay. Because at the end, we did what we wanted. We found a Pokemon with the Destiny Mark. That is a shiny. And that is it. That will conclude my Pokemon Birthday Shiny Hunt Edition in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Please leave a like if you guys enjoyed this video and the Pokemon that I decided to shiny hunt for. I'm really glad that I found this Pikachu with the Destiny Mark. And that will be it for now. This is John D, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.